These high school students are pushing pasta to its limits. And the question isn't whether their spaghetti bridges will fail, it's when. The bridge building contest is the finale to a month-long program at Johns Hopkins University, aimed at attracting bright young students from around the world to careers in science and engineering. We bring all the bridges here to our ceremony, bring the parents and their friends. They load their bridge by loading it from the center, and we add weights one at a time until every bridge fails. At the end, the bridge that holds the highest load wins, wins the contest. You never know when a bridge is going to fail. There are some that you can guess how much load they will hold, but some really surprise us. We have thin pieces that are really uh, thin, so it breaks really easily. Each team's bridge consists of nothing more than roughly half a pound of spaghetti and glue. Past champions managed to build bridges that could withstand more than 130 pounds before they caved in. I don't know, it's been a little goofy, but it's been a lot of fun, like looking and designing a bridge made entirely of spaghetti that'll hopefully hold a considerable amount of weight. Finally, a winner. The bridge made by Elisa's team, I can't believe it's not Linguini, sustains 44 kilograms, or about 97 pounds. Before busting at four kilograms more. You know, I didn't know I'd ever be doing this, and I didn't know that I'd ever be able to say the highlight of my summer <laughs> is building a bridge out of spaghetti and then breaking it, but so far the highlight of my summer has been building a spaghetti bridge and then breaking it.